Hello, calculus fans. Let's say we've got a space curve defined by cosine t, sine t, t squared. Let's find the tangential and normal components of acceleration at t equals pi over 6. So we always want to start by just computing a few derivatives of the vector function. Then we need to plug in pi over 6. And then we need the length of r prime. This one's a bit messy. We end up with the square root of 1 plus pi squared over 9. And now we're in a position to be able to compute the tangential component of acceleration. It will be r prime at pi over 6 dotted with r double prime at pi over 6 divided by the length of r prime at pi over 6. Let's put in those vectors. We already computed the length of r prime at pi over 6. It's square root of 1 plus pi squared over 9. Okay, let's compute this dot product. And here's what we end up with. 2 pi over 3 times square root of 1 plus pi squared over 9. You can either leave it like that, or you can give the approximate answer of 1.45 meters per second squared. Those are the units because this is an acceleration. The last thing we'll need to compute is r prime of pi over 6 crossed r double prime of pi over 6. And if we work all that out, we get an expression that looks like this. Square root of 3 plus pi over 6i plus 1 minus pi root 3 over 6j plus k. And the last thing we need is the length of r prime of pi over 6 cross r double prime of pi over 6. Wow, what a mess. Okay, long day's journey into night. This is what we get. We're going to have the normal component of acceleration at pi over 6 is the length of r prime cross r double prime divided by the length of r prime. So here's our final result. We have an approximate value of 1.72 meters per second squared. Okay. That's all for now.